So this is the question. It says during Matki 4 in the movie Agnipath, Hrithik wanted to find out the height of the Matki from the ground. So he stands under the Matki and takes 18 steps away from the Matki along a straight line. Each step measures 1 meter. The angle of elevation of the matki from his eyes is 45 degrees from that point where he was standing. What is the height of the matki from the ground if his eyes are 1.8 meters from the ground? So let us draw a figure for this. Let us assume that this is the ground. The matki is hung somewhere here. So what he did was he stood right under the matki at first. This was his initial position. So it was right under the matki. And then he took 18 steps in some particular direction along a straight line. So he came till here. So let's say this is Mr. Ritik. So from here, the angle of elevation was. 45 degrees. So let me just draw the line of sight. So this is the line of sight. What would be the horizontal level? This would be the horizontal level. So this is the horizontal level. The angle of elevation is given as 45 degrees. And this distance is given as 18 steps. And we know each step that he took was 1 meter long here. So this is nothing but 18 meters. This distance is 18 meters. We have to find out the height of the matki. So let's label the matki as M. Here Rithik's eyes are H. And let this point be some point K. And this point on the ground, let that be some point J. So this angle here is 90 degrees. And triangle MHK is a right triangle. And angle K here is 90 degrees. We also know that this length HK is 18 meters. We have to find out the height of the matki. So that would be mj and not mk. So height of the matki is calculated from the ground and not from the eye levels of Mr. Ritik Roshan. So this is the ground and this point is j. So mj has to be found out. Now here we know angle h that is 45 degrees. Angle H is equal to 45 degrees. So in accordance with angle H, MK is the side that is opposite to it. And what is the ratio that involves the opposite side as well as the adjacent side? Because we know the length of HK. So yes, it's tan. So tan of angle H is equal to MK by HK. Do we agree with this? This is the opposite side by the adjacent side. And angle H here is 45 degrees. So this becomes tan 45 degrees is equal to MK is unknown. And HK is known as 18 meters. So 18 meters. And tan 45 degrees is nothing but 1. So MK from this relationship can be written as 18 meters. Now we just need to find out the length of KJ so that we can find the total length MJ. And KJ is nothing but the height of Rithik's eyes. See, this is a rectangle here. If this point is I, so HIJK here forms a rectangle and HI would be equal to KJ. So I can write KJ is equal to HI 
and is equal to 1.8 meters because the height of his eyes is given as 1.8 meters so hi is 1.8 meters so is kj so the total height of this matki that is mj is equal to mk plus kj that is equal to 18 meters plus 1.8 meters or 19.8 meters that's the total height of the matki that rithik has to reach to so this problem gives us an insight of how we can use trigonometry in our daily lives we'll look at a few more problems in the next video bye